Okay, Dennis, tell us about this neat little jet. Well, what can I tell you? It's a Proctor. It's uh, got a 90 millimeter EDF in it, FMS EDF in it. It runs on six cells. It's based on, uh, as you can probably see, an American uh, training uh, aircraft, which makes it nice and easy to fly as a, as a uh, radio control aircraft. Mm -hmm. But you need dry conditions to get it off the ground. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm about to give that away. Okay, we'll see how it goes. We will. Well, in addition to what Dennis has told us, uh, this model is made by Black Horse. It's an ARF, uh, 1380 millimeter wingspan, 1480 in length, the balsa and ply construction. Styled after the trainer jets of the late 1950s, no particular one, likeness to the planes of that era, but uh, with a few little modifications making it uh, easy to fly as a model. Well, Dennis is going to show us what's that all about. It's all about. He's walking it out to make it even with the paved part of the runway to allow himself that little bit extra oomph uh, getting this beast up into the air. Just a light breeze blowing today. Pretty good conditions for flying the plane, and it can use that little bit extra lift on the takeoff. Dennis loves uh, stale scale type flying. Does a beautiful job with that rotation and uh, launching it up into the sky. And while Dennis comes in for one of his picture-perfect landings, my pictures were less than perfect, having a little bit of a hard time uh, following it in. But uh, boy, you just greased it in there beautifully. Uh, well done, Dennis. You do a great job.
That was so much fun, Dennis decided to have another go. Let's try her again. the end we did have a bit of a distraction that kept me from uh, capturing the landing as such. But uh, he did get it down and it was a very interesting distraction at that. <laughs> 